Hey weirdos, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you guys are ready for a little e-file 101 with me and Melody Susie. They were so kind, they sent me over their new e-file to try. I will leave it linked down in the box below if you're in the market for a new e-file or if you need an upgrade because I know that some of you start out with a very simple pen style e-file and those are fine for beginners but if you're looking to get serious better e-file <laughs> this is a great one i am using this pretty much exclusively right now um, my next video which will be the manny on my left hand um, i did use a different e-file because i actually filmed that one first but from then on out i'm sticking with this e-file i am obsessed so I'm going to take you on a little tour of this particular e-file and a little bit later on we're going to get into how to use it, what bits to use with it, how I like to e-file my own nails on my dominant hand. Uh, so you saw the body of the e-file, it's got your standard forward reverse, it's got your input to plug in your handpiece and a little input for the charger. Um, it is wireless so you can charge it up and then you can use it without being attached to a wall which I absolutely love. When this drill comes to you, it'll have this bit inside. It's called a chuck bit. It's just maybe a placeholder for your other bits. And as you can see, it does a lock and unlock. The lock is very secure. And this is the port that you plug into your body of your e-file. So this plugs in and this stays plugged in. And the body of the e-file is what powers your handpiece. So we're gonna do a little science. You know me, I like the science -y stuff. <laughs> I wanted to see how much it vibrated and how loud it was. Um, I'm gonna try to leave original audio in here so you can hear the vibration of it, um, but you're gonna be able to see it on my nail desk and see that it does not move. So the last box this comes with contains a little stand where you could put your handpiece and stuff. It also came with the charger, which we'll get into later, although mine came completely charged so I didn't need to plug it in for any reason. Mine also came with a bunch of these diamond bits. These are really great prep bits and I'll go through a couple of my favorites here in a little bit. It also came with a mandrel bit and a few sanding bands. We're gonna talk about the sanding bands later because I won't use those. Came with this little clip that goes on your body of your e-file and you can put your handpiece in there. So if you're a nail tack and you want to clip this to like your hip and walk around with it for some reason <laughs> you can do that if you want to you can walk around and do nails if you're that talented i i'm not so i won't use that feature i doubt um but it's there available to you if that's what you want to do so it also came with two other bits one's a ceramic this one's a ceramic bit um you can use this for contouring or you can use this for removal depending on what kind of product you have on your nails this would be a great bit for um, gel overlays and then it came with this carbide bit this is something i would probably use for removal of dip powder if you're filing off your dip powder this is probably going to be a great bit to use i would exercise caution when using kind, kinds of bits like that they're very teethy and they can be very sharp so you want to keep that away from your skin and cuticles so diamond bits love diamond bits for prep um, i'm going to get into a couple of them and what i use them for okay so let's talk about the sanding bands i have been very much into sanding bands recently which you're going to see in upcoming videos but i'm using that instead of an e-file to contour my nails these days and it's so much faster i'm obsessed however the sanding bands that come with this e-file are very coarse i would not use sanding bands like that I would prefer to use a fine grit sanding band, which I have, and I'll use those. This diamond bit, the ball bit, you guys have seen me use this a million times on cuticle prep. I would honestly use all of these diamond bits for cuticle prep. Um, you can use them for cuticle prep on your fingernails, on your toenails, if that's what you want to do. If you're not using an e-file for your pedicures, what are you even doing? <laughs> Yes, you can sanitize all of these things. You can use barbicide if you know how to use that. I, for my bits, I like to wash them with soap and water. If they're clogged up, if they're full of product, they're very dusty, you can soak them in acetone for a few minutes and then rinse them off. And then I spray them down with alcohol to evaporate everything on them. So this comes with a whole instructional manual and it comes with what all the bits are used for, which is so convenient and so handy. And it also mentions a warranty. Melody Susie offers a six month warranty on their e-files, but you can extend that from what I read. I have never had to contact Melody Susie for an issue, so I can't speak to that, but I like the fact they have a warranty and I love the fact that it can be extended. So if you needed info on that, there you go. And of course, Melody Susie is super easy to find. They're on Instagram. Um, there's all their info in case you need them for whatever reason. 
keep your manuals. I know I, I'm guilty. I'm very guilty of checking stuff. Just get in the garbage. I can't have clutter. <laughs> Although you disagree if you saw my nail area. But uh, I would recommend keeping your manuals. That way you always have someone to reach if you have an issue. So I was going to, at this point, plug in the um, e-file because it does say you want to charge this completely before using it just so it has as much power as it could potentially have. This is a 35,000 RPM e-file. But this baby came completely charged, as you can see on the display over here. I know it's a little hard to see underneath my lights and stuff, but it is completely charged. When you switch directions from forward into reverse, it does indicate that on the screen, and it will show you how fast you are going also on the screen. So you always know what your e-file is doing, although I will still <laughs> not know what direction my e-file is going. As far as that, okay, so here's the deal with you know what i'll get into that in a minute i'm gonna get into directions here in a minute but i really wanted to show you how this is a bit that i have already i wanted to make sure i can use my bits with every e-file because i have my own favorite bits you know this is a diamond barrel bit usually comes with most e-files but i'll link it down in the box it's in my amazon storefront so we're gonna put this to a little bit of a test i want to see how this does as far as sound and vibration on forward and reverse and on low speed and high speed just so I can see, we're gonna, I'm gonna leave in a little bit of original audio here so you can see how loud or quiet this actually is. Now, I gotta tell you, I have owned a great many of e-files <laughs> and this has to be the most silent e-file I have ever used in my life. Listen. Did you hear it? Cause that was at 110% volume. <laughs> at 35,000 RPM. This e-file is so quiet. I was absolutely shocked. And again, one of the many reasons why I will be using this e-file exclusively for the foreseeable future. So as you can see, I'm not sure how well you can gauge on camera, but the vibration is zero. This handpiece does not move, whether it is at a very low speed, a medium speed, or the highest 35,000 RPM speed. I was super impressed. So I'm trying this both on forward and reverse just to make sure it's consistent all the way around. And it does go down to two. 2000 RPM is the lowest for prep. I would probably use it somewhere around six. For my contouring and stuff, I use it around 12. But again, this is very personal preference and we're gonna get into how I actually use this for contouring right now. Well, how about we just dive in? <laughs> so I've got my diamond barrel bit as mentioned. I am in reverse because I am using this with my left hand and I am dragging the bit across my nail towards me. Does that make sense? I'll show you that Manny in the next video. <laughs> So when you're going towards yourself with your left hand, you're going to want this in reverse. If you're going away from you with your left hand, you'll want to put it in forward. When you're using it with your right hand and you're bringing it towards you, you'll have it in forward. When you're using your right hand and you're bringing it away from you, you'll have it in reverse. Does that make sense? You want it to essentially be rotating in the opposite direction of how you're using it. Does that make any sense whatsoever? <laughs> I hope it does. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this bit and I'm just going to clean up my cuticle area. I am not applying pressure. The idea with the e-file is not to apply pressure. It's to let the e-file and the bit do the work for you. And that's essentially what I'm doing. Now, keep in mind that your comfort level will have something to do with this. If you're running this e-file on a low speed, it will require you to put down pressure. So if you find that you're putting pressure on your e-file and you're filing chunks off of your nail, you may want to consider turning that speed up a little bit and putting less pressure. That should give you a smoother e-file experience. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this for all five nails. As you can see, it takes literally no time at all. Yes, the clip is sped up. However, this part of e-filing typically does not take me a whole lot of time. I want to talk about bits for a hot second because I have so many people that ask me all the time. This is a majority of what I get in my emails and my DMs and a lot of what I see on my um, Facebook group feed is what bits do you use for what purpose? And that's a great question with not a great answer. I have found in my own experience and granted, I don't know how many times I've said it so far, but I'm going to say it again. I am not a nail tech. I'm a DIYer just like you guys are. I learned how to do this on my own. but. I have found that 
you can use a lot of different bits for a lot of different purposes. It's really a matter of what you are most comfortable with. I see a lot of people asking, do you think that ceramic is best? Do you think that carbide is best? Do you think that diamonds are best? I think what is best is what you find works for you and what you are comfy with. I know I suck and I'm sorry. I know you wanted like a straight answer. I can't give it to you and I'm sorry. What I can tell you is what works for me. And for the cuticle area, love that diamond barrel bit. It's so gentle. It doesn't take off a ton of products. I use it just to clean up the cuticle and that's it. Now I'm switching over to the mantle bit and I put on one of my fine sanding bands. And this is what I've been doing for the last few manis, and I'm obsessed. So normally I would take my hand file and contour and blend down the sides and the cuticle area and make everything nice and smooth, you know, take away any little bumps or whatever. But I have found that using the e-file to do this is such a time saver. And I actually enjoy doing it more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this over the entire nail, but I'm going to focus and concentrate this mostly on the edges. So that's a nice blended look. I did file. I shaped my nail before I did this. So I did shape them first as per my usual. I always shape the nail and then I blend everything together. I'll leave that in the box if you want to see how I do my shaping routine and my hand filing stuff. I'll leave that down below or up in the cards. But as you can see, I'm focusing just on the sidewall area and on the cuticle area to blend all of that together and make it look completely seamless. And that's my go-to, it's my go-to now. But again, personal preference. If you like using a carbide bit for this or a ceramic bit for this, you do you. And that's 100% fine. As long as you're not hurting yourself and your process is effective and you're getting the results that you want, by all means, you use whatever makes you happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the rest of my nails all smoothed out and I'll be right back. So the next step in my filing routine is to go back over with my hand file and make sure I didn't warp my shape at all when I was doing my e-file. This is literally just finished filing. So I'm going to go over and, and, and then that happened. <laughs> Did you see it pop off? Peel base problems. Sometimes that happens and that's, it wasn't my whole nail. Don't worry. This is not gruesome. It was just my, my peely. <laughs> uh, I use peel base underneath all of my manis because I do my nails so frequently. And from time to time, although it hasn't happened in a while, something flies off or becomes loose mid-file. Absolutely annoying. And you know what? I was to the point where I'm like, I, you know what? It's going to stay there. It's going to stay there in the corner of shame and watch all of her sisters have a good time and get pretty. <laughs> We're just going to sit here and mock the Peely. Everyone mock the Peely in the corner. Tell her how bad she is. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to finish filing, make sure my edges are smooth and straight. And then I'm going to go in with a buffer and then we're going to be done. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you now that my peely popped off, I'm going to show you how I prep my nail. That way you can see how I work with the diamond bit too. So this is the diamond ball bit. I'm going to take this at about uh, 8,000 RPM and while stabilizing my hand, and this is a very soft bit, you're not going to cut yourself or the odds of cutting yourself with this is very, very slim. You can burn yourself with it but only if you keep it in one spot for an extended period of time. So anyway, I'm gonna take this just along my cuticle area and get rid of any product that might be on my nail. I have an overlay on my natural nail. I have builder gel on here, um, but I, I don't prep every single time I do my nails. I did not prep this time, which is probably why my PLA popped off. So I'm just gonna go in and get rid of anything that might be on the nail, like dead cuticle or 
product that is old what have you that is peeling whatever and that is literally how i will prep my mani and i don't do this to the entire nail you can use the sanding band the fine sanding band across your entire nail to do your prep if you really wanted to like you're going to see me do now however i will tell you as far as bits go on your natural nails you do not want to put a carbide bit on your natural nail it is way too rough and i would only suggest using a fine grit sanding band on your natural nail anything higher than that is probably going to be too rough you're going to take too much nail off and you're going to make your nail super thin that's one of the most common complaints i hear about filing is over filing and making your nails super duper thin so you want to avoid that at all cost now i'm going to go in with my buffer block this is the final step to my finish filing so i'm just gonna get all my nails buffed up and they'll be ready for top coat And we're glossy and gorgeous. Well, with the exception of my thumb, who's being punished right now. <laughs> I hope this was somewhat helpful. Let me know down below and thank you guys for spending some time with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Love you, bye.